Hey everybody, uh, welcome along to another Hobo Homestead video. Now, in a couple of weeks time we have got the Hobo Hangout coming up. And last year a lot of us, um, well not a lot of us, there's not a lot of people there, but we spent uh, a lot of time in a very very smoky roundhouse uh, because the fire, the smoke from the fire just kept getting blown around. Um, and that didn't seem very nice so I, I wanted to uh, improve that. Uh, for everyone for this year. Uh, now I have this morning been channeling the abilities of the uh, Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle and if you don't know who that chap is um, I will uh, put a link to his uh, channel if I can. Uh, if I can't just just type in Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle and it'll bring him up because he does some amazing sort of projects out of bits and bobs of things and there's some real interesting stuff goes on on that channel. So I've been channeling uh, his abilities. Mine are, you know, if he's here, I'm sort of somewhere down at shoe level in terms of ability to, to make things um, out of bits of metal. But out of a load of scrap metal, I've possibly got a solution for our uh, smoke, smoky hut problem. Come with me. So as you can see, there's various uh, bits and bobs. There's a uh, broken jigsaw I snapped a blade. There's a uh, knackered old drill, which I'm just about to get working. Uh, a grinder and a, a fairly new to me welder, but I've run out of welding wire now because they only give you a little bit when you get it. Uh, so out of all of that and a load of scrap metal, I've made a little stove. So as I say, this is entirely manufactured out of pieces of uh, scrap metal and bits and bobs I've had lying around. I'll just run you through where the bits of metal came from. Uh, the door, I can't remember actually, but it's been lying around this yard for ages. Uh, I don't know where I got that from, probably out of someone's garden at some point. Uh, the hinge is left over from a gardening job I did many many years ago and because it's a weird hinge I've never been able to use it on anything else I think for some reason there was a pack of three I needed two hence I was end up, ended up left with one the spring I found that somewhere that's my door handle obviously um, I might make this opening a bit bigger I think uh, bring it up here somewhere the metal plate uh, is part of this big chunky metal plate uh, that's been lying around in this yard for ages again I don't know exactly where that came from the actual body of this is an old oven uh, which we found in the woods when we were doing a tree job um, next to a main road and somebody had uh, obviously chucked it out of their car many years before and it's the inside of an old fan oven so um, I thought to myself that might come in handy for fire things at some point so I did grab it uh, and it has so that's good uh, the pipe on top there's two pipes here <sighs> this actually came from uh, one of my uh, hobo hangouters Simon and the uh, real brand channel again I'll put a link to his channel um, he said oh I might have a bit of pipe for you for your your roundhouse and there were actually two sides of it so this is a smaller pipe which I hadn't up until now been able to use uh, but the nice thing is because the rest of the pipe which is down the field and is of this diameter the top one here you just slide straight over the top so when I want to use it in the hut I can just put in the roof pipe and we are good to go now I am just going to point out my absolutely terrible welding um, as I say I'm not a welder but I can stick bits of metal together vaguely so there's going to be an awful lot of uh, fire cement goes on here <laughs> just try and block these gaps up uh, the jigsaw wouldn't cut a diameter hole small enough uh, to to make the pipe fit so there's a bit of a gap there and uh, I tried filling it up with weld and that didn't work I ended up burning through the actual pipe because this, this is really thin pipe and this is really thick plate so that didn't help me uh, but it's it's all joined on it's solid and I can just pack it round with stuff to, to make it smoke proof so there we go we'll see how that goes I'm gonna make that door bigger because that's tiny it looks silly uh, but um, that just goes like that so here we are end of the working day now uh, come down the field with the stove and uh, I've put it in um, 
and we'll just if I just pan up here you'll see the stovepipe this is the rest of the stovepipe that uh, Simon gave me very kindly poking out the hut and uh, I've just filled that with a fire lighter and a load of random shavings and I've got some off cuts of uh, bits of fencing material here I'm just going to see if we can get a burn out of it and see just how much smoke leaks out of it um, I haven't done any of the filling in with fire cement or anything yet I was too excited to go and get any and I didn't have any time so we're going to try it without and see what happens Okay, so there's not too much smoke coming out here as yet. There's plenty of smoke in there. We're going, going pretty well. Uh, you can see the flames through my uh, dodgy welding attempt. What I've just done is really overloaded it now, and I'll close the door up reduce the draft and that should generate some smoke still pretty good in here let's take a look outside oh, she's smoking away I'd call that a success. But it's silly to just sit here and uh, waste the heat of the fire while I'm just checking it all out and burning off those um, labels. Um, so I've got the uh, famous Hobo Homestead uh, repaired kettle on the stove. Going to have the first brew from this new stove. It's always nice when. Um, Managed to make use of something that you know otherwise would have been junk or thrown away or sat in storage or, or what have you. There's a real sense of um, purpose and pride in that. That kettle's already boiling. <laughs> Result. What do you make of it, Wilma? As you'll see, I've loaded that up now with a really smoky old piece of elm and a whole load of other horrible, nasty woods that don't really want to burn or are going to smoke badly. It's smoking away like crazy out there. And in here, nothing. So my hobo homesteading friends, when you come over in a couple of weeks time, um, we'll be alright. We won't get smoked out this year, we can stay warm and dry, and we won't get smoked out. Brilliant. Okay, I don't know if the camera is picking it, well I can see the camera's not picking this up properly, but that pipe is cherry red. Uh, it's burning. <laughs> It's burning my little bit of timber that it's now resting on. Yeah. It's a big fire. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you again soon.